Before we start, I just wanted to yeah, thank the eight new subscribers we gained during the last week. Thank you very much for subscribing and have fun on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet and if you're interested in menswear, clothing, shoes, fragrances and that stuff, feel free to subscribe my channel. Also visit my Instagram and my website sartorialstyles.com. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Benjamin and this is Sartorial Styles. Today I want to yeah, share six things with you that are, in my opinion, better the old-fashioned way. Number one is a very, very big point. It's yeah, dates in general, hanging out together, talking together, having dinner, all those things. In my opinion, the smartphone is a very, very nice invention and there are many benefits, but there are also many downsides. I'm a big fan of just having a date with a person I met somewhere, wherever, and we just sit opposite each other at a nice restaurant and we don't know anything about the other person. And today that won't happen because everybody follows anybody on Instagram, we all have Facebook, we write via WhatsApp and we always, yeah, exchange information before we actually meet for an actual date. And also, if we are at an actual date, many people hang around at their phone all of the time. There is no real conversation between one person and another, but only sitting here and uh, typing stuff, writing text messages, not only at dates, but also yeah, during a regular evening dinner at the restaurant and that's something I really dislike. I think talking to people in person about whatever is way, way, way nicer than talking to people via the phone. Number two, a big point for me, listening to music. I don't want to say that music is bad today and it was only good during the 60s or 70s or 80s or whatever. I just mean the way how we listen to music. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of headphones of Bluetooth speakers. I think there are many nice inventions uh, in this area, but I think listening to music via those things can never replace listening to music via an actual hi-fi setup with actual speakers and via an actual CD or vinyl. And not only this, that I just like the aesthetic of vinyl, of vinyl players, of having something in my hand, of actually seeing the cover of the album I'm just going to play. We listen to music in a different way. We have playlists today. We listen to the songs we like from a certain artist and then there is another artist with another song we like. I'm personally a big fan of just having a whole album, and I don't mean a best of album, but a real regular album from a band I like. And I just put this album on the vinyl player, sit down, relax and listen to the album. I think that's something we, yeah, unlearned to enjoy. And that's a pity in my opinion. Number three, having respect for art, for different fabrics, for, yeah, artisan, for craftsmanship, all those things. When we go shopping today, we just look at what I like and what fits me. And we don't really know, okay, where is this fabric from? Um, what is the craftsmanship? What is the story behind what I actually buy? And I always feel that like 70 or 80 years before, that was yeah much more a point for many people. That they wanted to know, okay, I have this suit, this is from Italy, from this certain mill. And yeah, I know this is coming back in the menswear movement. We are actually in right here probably, but a few decades ago this was way more important for people and that's a pity that it isn't anymore today. Because especially when we're talking about shoes, about all those old craftsmanship things, we don't have that anymore today. We all buy shoes that are cheaply made in China or cheaply made anywhere else, all those sneakers from Nike and Adidas and that stuff. 
and there is no respect of the craftsmanship of a real leather shoe for example or we all want to buy the cheapest suit possible but we don't really have respect for yeah the actual yeah story behind the garment for how this suit was made for what people um, actually had their hands on that and that's something that i quite enjoy and in my opinion it's a pity that this isn't so popular anymore today. Number four is taking pictures and I don't mean that you shouldn't take pictures with your phone, that's completely fine. I actually mean not taking pictures digital. I like digital cameras and I think it's one of the best inventions in the photography game in general and having digital raw files is incredible you can do so many things with a picture you can completely change it via lightroom via photoshop all those things that's very 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 nice but what i always see also when i take pictures of a model or during a wedding or whatever i just have 2000 pictures after the wedding because i just have been there and click 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 i always spam the shutter because, of course, I want to have a picture of the best moment of the day or the best moments of the day. But with analog cameras, you had a film with like 12 photos or 20 photos or 30 photos and you really have to pay attention. What am I doing right now? Do I really want to take this certain picture? And I think when you do that, and also if you use a manual focus lens, you really have to put the focus manually, you don't have autofocus or something like that. This makes you enjoy the photos you take much more. I still like digital photography, but I think in some cases it's nice to yeah, take analog pictures and um, just to enjoy what is behind the picture you've actually taken, how much effort you put in this single certain picture and not having just one picture out of 2000. Number four, dressing well to go to a party or to go to a dinner with friends and actually hosting a dinner with friends. That's something that isn't very popular anymore and I think it's a pity. I think if I go out with other people it shows respect when I dress well. I don't mean that you always have to go out wearing a suit. That's bullshit, especially in this day and age. But I mean that you should show them that you put a little bit of effort in your outfit, that you actually respect them by wearing something appropriate. And I always see people going out to a bar, to a restaurant only with sweatpants. And in my opinion, this is extremely disrespectful for the people in the restaurant, so the guests, but also for the people in the kitchen, for the waiters and all that stuff. In my opinion, dressing well to go out is something that should definitely come back. I see it coming back a little bit. It should be coming back much more. And the last one, maybe not what you would expect, gaming. I'm a millennial. I'm born in the November of 2000 and that's why I grew up with PlayStation 2 and with games like Crash Bandicoot, like um, the older Need for Speed games, like The Settlers, I don't know if it's popular outside of Germany, maybe it is, I really don't know, but the way how we play games, it's completely different in this day and age. We have online gaming and I think online gaming is nice, but the old way to do this, just sitting together in a room, playing split screen on the PlayStation or whatever, or having a LAN party and ordering pizza, hanging out together, having fun with friends who are actually in the same room is something completely different to just playing a game online and talking via a headset or something. So I actually don't know, was that number six or number seven? I will see it when I cut the video. I hope you liked the points I just outlined. Maybe you have more things uh, that you like better the old-fashioned way or maybe you disagree with something I said in this video. Feel free to write a comment and also check out my Instagram if you haven't done that yet. Have a nice day.